See now the gases exchange in alveoli. How does it takes place? And we will see one by one. Each alveolus is supplied with blood capillaries. Okay, so alveolus we know very well. It's million of number of million number of alveoli is found in the lungs. And alveolus is a sac like a structure which is responsible for the gases exchange and it stores all the oxygen and uh, it has uh, uh, increased surface area for increase the rate of uh, diffusion um, giving uh, in diffuses oxygen into the blood capillaries and uh, carbon dioxide from the blood capillary to the alveoli diffuses right. Uh, these come from the pulmonary artery and they contain a deoxygenated blood rich in carbon dioxide. So each alveolus is supplied with the blood capillaries and uh, these come from the pulmonary artery. We know very well about the functions of the arteries and veins, right? Arteries are carrying the oxygenated blood except the pulmonary artery. Veins are carrying always the deoxygenated blood except the pulmonary vein. So the pulmonary artery are carrying the deoxygenated blood and it contains a more quantity of carbon dioxide. That is what given here. These come from the pulmonary artery and they contain deoxygenated blood rich in carbon dioxide. The concentration of oxygen is very high inside the alveolus and very low in the blood. Okay. So when we inhale the process what happened the drug cavity contains more oxygen means the alveolus contains more oxygen and in the blood the oxygen level is very low instead the carbon dioxide is very high. So we are going to see here about the process diffusion means down the concentration gradient right. The movement of molecules from the region of their higher concentration to the region of lower concentration down the concentration gradient this is a diffusion okay so the oxygen quantity is very high in the alveolus very less in the blood so it is diffuses from alveolus to the blood capillaries and carbon dioxide is rich in uh, blood capillaries and uh, it comes out to the alveolus where it is very less quantity very less uh, less amount of carbon dioxide so oxygen molecules diffuse from the alveolus to the red blood cells and uh, combine with hemoglobin Okay, so now we can call this hemoglobin as oxyhemoglobin. So at the very same time, this occurs carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood to the alveolus because the concentration of it is very high in the blood and low in alveolus. So at the same time, both diffusion takes place. Oxygen diffuses inside the blood capillaries or the hemoglobin from the alveolus at the same time. Carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood capillaries to the alveolus. It happens simultaneously. Okay, So you can see this is the picture of the alveolus. What are the different uh, parts in the alveolus? You can see very clearly here. So this is what we can say the alveoli. Okay, So alveoli and this part right. This part is the blood capillary blood capillary the round part is given no here in the blood so this is rbc okay so you can see here the carbon dioxide is diffuses inside from the blood capillary at the same time oxygen is diffuses from the alveolus to the blood capillary as it more it contains a more quantity of oxygen this is the structure of the alveolus you can see very clearly <coughs> See here the red blood cell with a high, to see this first point, red blood cells with a high concentration of oxygen this is and uh, it is diffuses okay. So it goes to the heart again and the blood plasma with a low concentration of carbon dioxide. This side is a high concentration and the bottom side is a low concentration. So this see this one, carbon dioxide diffuses out of plasma okay, it is goes inside there and single cell wall to blood, blood capillary is a single cell wall. So that it is a very thin membrane so that it can easily pass through diffusers takes place easily here. And you can see here the single layer of uh, cells around the alveolus. So the alveolus also covered by single cell membrane so that can be easily diffusion takes place. Oxygen diffuses into the red blood cells. You see here oxygen diffuses into the red blood cells. Okay, here it is 
diffuses this side this side carbon dioxide diffuses this side oxygen diffuses is yes. so a deoxygenated blood from the heart and the blood plasma with a high concentration uh, of carbon dioxide and the red blood cell uh, with a low concentration of oxygen so this is the structure of a alveolus very clearly you can see how does the diffusion takes place from the blood capillary oxygen uh, carbon dioxide from the blood capillary to the alveolus and from the alveolus to the blood capillaries okay students i think you can understand very clearly from this picture okay what are the adaptations this alveoli has to do this function gaseous exchange or perform this gaseous exchange successfully let's see the first gaseous exchange happens because of several factors in the alveolus and the blood capillaries that control the rate of gas exchange okay so gas exchange happens because of several factors in the alveolus some of the factors are present in the alveolus and uh, it is important for the gaseous exchange and increasing the surface area uh, let's see one by one the first you can see very thin wall of both the alveolus and the blood capillary the first one is very thin wall so that the diffusion can be takes place very very easily okay so they are one cell thick wall okay so they are they both are one cell thick wall very thin and one cell thick wall both blood capillary and alveolus which makes the diffusion distance shorter and increasing the rate of diffusion this is the main thing so the first adaptation is the cell the outer covering of the alveolus is thin membrane and Uh, one cell thick wall and blood capillary is also very thin and one cell thick wall okay and see the next one uh, the difference in concentration of gas between the alveolus and the capillary is a very large increasing the diffusion rate of gases okay so the difference is the concentration what does it mean this point the gaseous exchange takes place due to the concentration gradient right so oxygen is more quantity more concentration of oxygen found in alveolus and less concentration in a blood supply sorry blood capillary and blood capillary carbon dioxide concentration is very high and alveolus it is very low so that the diffusion takes place very easily and here it maintains the concentration gradient okay and the alveolus are balloon shaped which gives a very large surface area for the faster diffusion so alveolus are a balloon shape right it's a sac like structure and a balloon shaped structure and so that it gives more surface area for gaseous exchange the walls of the alveolus are limit lined by a thin film of water in which gases dissolve in during diffusion this makes fast air so you can see one more point of this adaptation the walls of the alveolus are lined by a thin film of water it's a moisture condition the walls of one cell thick wall right that outer covering of this alveolus so that the gases can be easily dissolved in this moisture during the time of the diffusion so it makes a faster rate of diffusion okay okay students very good and we have seen very clearly about the Uh, different functions uh, and uh, different structures and adaptations of this alveolus how does it adapt to the gas